On the inside, there's nothing particularly remarkable about it. Just 70 yards wall to wall, it's confined and basic. OP Sturger is pretty similar to lots of other small checkpoints and patrol bases occupied by British troops here in Afghanistan, except for one incredible asset. Take a glance over the HESCO walls and what greets you is a view so stunning it's easy to forget this is among the most dangerous places on earth. OP Sturger's built on a cliff top on the edge of the desert and from up here British troops can watch comings and goings right across this part of southern Helmand. It's very quiet, I mean we're, we're situated literally on the, um, the north tip of the southern dash which is the desert, um, so we've got the green zone, the river Helmand and then us in the dash. So the, the habitation around here is quite um, <coughs> sparse and less populated than it is down in the green zone. So the, the threat to us really is, is minimal but the threat still remains so it's making sure the guys are aware of the threat, it still remains and the scene to keep on top of their, their toes. Sturger's home to a detachment of men from Somme Company 3 Yorks. From here they patrol by vehicle and on foot into the desert and down into the Helmand Valley. This can only be described as claustrophobic living. In the winter it's freezing, in the summer blisteringly hot. And in these basic conditions, there's not much privacy to be had either. Fix the cam net and all that's getting done. Everybody out here, whatever their rank, has to pitch in and do their bit. Keeping an OP like this clean and hygienic is a constant battle. The grimmest job of all, carting the bags of waste of every description to the desert burns pit. For many of these young soldiers, this is their first operational tour. Your family worries a lot, obviously. Like, my mum was worried about me coming out here, or my grandma and my dad, obviously. Dad didn't show it as much as my mum, because he's my dad, but everyone worries. I worried about coming out here, because it's my first tour. I'm sure the rest of the other lads did. Supplies arrive every couple of weeks by road and air, everything from bottles of water to fresh fruit and veg. As in every PB, CP and FOB in Afghanistan, mealtimes are a focal point of the day, and for soldiers living with so little, Welfare parcels also provide a few treats and home comforts. Uh, all sorts really, from uh, toiletries to so snacks and that, and it's really nice that you know, people obviously care about your welfare and that back in the UK, so yeah, it's nice. OP Sturger's magical view also has other valuable benefits. It's much easier to attract influential Afghans up here for sure as than to other more mundane patrol bases. Today, various police chiefs, army officers and local elders have come to meet the district governor. The main topic of conversation, the need for more police officers. The district governor says he'll do what he can. God willing, he tells me, the Afghans can maintain security when the troops leave, but he believes they'll still need ISAF's help. For the men posted up here, there's also some downtime, whether it's gently competitive or something rather more punishing, it all provides a distraction from the daily routine. What sort of main challenges that you face? Um, boredom. Uh, well, obviously, guys, you know, inevitably we will uh, argue with each other and want to live on top of each other. But the guys from um, in you know, P. Sturger are generally used to that. They're from, um, from some company, the fire support company in Three Yorks. So we've got guys from Reckia who used to live in, in holes in the ground as well as the FSG guys. The view is beautiful, but no one's under any illusions how dangerous this place is. Earlier this month, three Yorks were involved in a firefight with insurgents who'd kidnapped a senior Afghan policeman. The officer was rescued, but the operation cost the life of Private Greg Stone. He was just 20 and about to become a father. Sturger's position means armies through the centuries have been here. Just yards away lie the remains of what looks like an old fort. The Russians apparently occupied it during the 1980s and it's still thought to be littered with landmines. Legend has it British soldiers were also posted up here during the Afghan wars. More than a century on, they're here again. Simon Newton, Forces News, O.P. Sturger, Helmand.